testing. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to our St. Bernadette family on the solemn solemnity of Mary, the Mother of God. As we begin the new year, 2021, with the Lord, we give him praise for the gift of time, as well as for the gift of his mother. Let us remember at this mass, Reina Tordugno, and the presider of this mass is Father Victor Olto. Please stand. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. My brothers and sisters, the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And on this last evening of the year, 2020, we end the year the way we began it, at Mass, thanking God for all his gifts that he has shown us throughout this very interesting year. God has always been with us, and he will continue to be with us in the future. We also come together tonight to end the year the way we began it, by thanking God for the gift of his mother, of Mary. Let us seek Mary's intercession now as we call to mind our sins. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life.
Let us pray. O oh God, who through the fruitful virginity of blessed Mary bestowed on the human race the grace of eternal salvation, grant, we pray, that we may experience Mary's intercession through whom we were found worthy to receive the author of life, our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Book of Numbers. The Lord said to Moses, Speak to Aaron and his sons and tell them, This is how you shall bless the Israelites. Say to them, The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. So shall they invoke your name, my name, upon the Israelites, and I will bless them. The word of the Lord. reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Galatians. Brothers and sisters, when the fullness of time has come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born under the law, to ransom those under the law, so that we might receive adoption as sons. As proof that you are sons, God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts, crying out, Abba, Father, so you are no longer a slave, but a son. 
and if a son, then also an heir, through God. The word of the Lord. reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. The shepherds went in haste to Bethlehem and found Mary and Joseph and the infant lying in the manger. When they saw this, they made known the message that had been told them about this child. All who heard it were amazed by what had been told them by the shepherds. And Mary kept all these things, reflecting on them in her heart. Then the shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. But as it had been told to them, when eight days were completed for his circumcision, He was named Jesus, the name given him by the angel before he was conceived in the womb. The Gospel of the Lord. I'd like to share with you something I read that I found very moving, uh, especially for tonight and tomorrow as we mark an ending as well as a beginning in our lives with the passage of time. I think it's quite appropriate, especially in light of the year that we're about to complete. The name of this reflection is called the train. At birth, we boarded the train and met our parents, and we believe that they will always travel by our side. As time goes by, other people will board the train, and they will be significant. That is, our siblings, our friends, our children, strangers, and even the love of our lives. However, at some station, our parents will step down from the train, leaving us on this journey alone. Others will step down over time and leave a permanent vacuum. 
Some, however, will go so unnoticed that we don't realize they vacated their seats. This train ride will be full of joy, sorrow, fantasy, expectations, hellos, goodbyes, and farewells. Success consists of having a good relationship with all passengers, requiring that we give the best of ourselves. The mystery to everyone is, we don't know at which station we ourselves will step down. So we must live in the best way, love, forgive, and offer the best of who we are. It's important to do this because when the time comes for us to step down and leave our seat empty, we should leave behind beautiful memories for those who will continue to travel on the train of life. And so, at this ending of the year 2020, filled with many challenges and dangers and new ways of living and not living, and throughout it all, the ever-abiding, loving, protecting presence of our God was ever upon us. At this time, I wish you a joyful journey for the next year, 2021, on your train of life. Reap success. Give lots of love and be happy. More importantly, thank God for the journey. And thank you for being one of the passengers on my train. Beautiful, no? We're on a journey, my brothers and sisters, and we aren't on it alone. But we are on it until uh, the train will stop and we, like others who have gone before us, must step off. Let's enjoy each other. Let's love each other. Let's take care of each other. Because if we do, the journey will be more sweet. And if we do, do our destination will be the same as everyone's. The loving arms of our God and the loving arms of his mother. A blessed, joyful, peaceful, healthy, and happy 2021. How blessed we are, my friends, to say that we believe in God. Where would we be now if we hadn't? Let us together then with great joy profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, 
and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Inspired by Mary's faith and prayers, let us lift up our prayers to our Heavenly Father. Our response is, loving Father, hear our prayer. For the church, may our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our Bishop, Gerald Barbarito, inspire us to be people of justice and peace. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For leaders of nations, may world leaders ensure religious freedom to their people and to many citizens of countries be respected and respectful of all religions, we pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For an end to the coronavirus pandemic and for those frontline medical workers, firefighters and police officers who share in vocations of service, we pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For small children, especially for those in refugee camps or who live in poverty, and for all small children, may they be cared for by people worthy of trust and will have their needs for food, warmth, shelter, and love fully met. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For travelers during the holiday period, May people ensure safety on our roads by being attentive and by acting courteously and respectfully towards others while keeping safe. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For all who are gathered here now, may we, as good stewards, be generous with our own gifts, talents, and treasures. We pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. For all the sick and the dying, for all who have died, we pray to the Lord. Loving Father, hear our prayer. And now let us pray together, my friends, the prayer of St. Francis. Lord, make me an instrument of your peace. Where there is hatred, let me sow love. Where there is injury, pardon. Where there is doubt, faith. Where there is despair, hope. Where there is darkness, light. Where there is sadness, joy. O Divine Master, grant that I may not so much seek to be consoled as to console, to be understood as to understand, to be loved as to love. For it is in giving that we receive. It is in pardoning that we are pardoned. It is in dying that we are born to eternal life. Amen.
Pray, my friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. O oh God, who in your kindness begin all good things and bring them to fulfillment, grant to us that just as we glory in the beginnings of your grace, on this solemnity of Mary, Mother of God, so one day may we rejoice in its completion through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name on the solemnity of the motherhood of the Blessed Virgin Mary. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, Mary conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise you, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. 
At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. He took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. And Lord, remember your church spread throughout the world. Bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Gerald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. And remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her husband, with the Blessed Apostles, Saint Bernadette, Saints Cosmas and Damien, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Now let us pray to our Father in the words our Savior gives us. 
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer one another a sign of this peace. Behold our Alpha and our Omega, our beginning and our end. Jesus, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. We have received this heavenly sacrament with joy, O Lord. Grant, we pray, that it may lead us to eternal life. For we rejoice to proclaim the blessed ever-Virgin Mary, mother of your Son and our mother too, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads to receive God's blessing. May God, the source and origin of all blessing, grant you peace, pour out his blessing in abundance, and keep you safe from all harm throughout 2021. Amen. Amen. May God give you integrity in faith, endurance in hope, perseverance in love, and holy patience to the end. Amen. May God order your days and your deeds in his peace. Grant your prayers in this and in every place, and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. And we wish you a very happy, holy, safe, peaceful, uneventful, boring. Boring will be a pleasure after this year, right? 2021, and remember, I'm talking to me, so I'll remember most especially, no matter what occurs, where are we in the hands of God? Happy New Year. Ivane's going up to uh, Times Square tonight. Be safe. No shenanigans, all right? Okay. Have a wonderful evening and day. God bless you. Happy New Year. Mother of mercy and of love, oh my.
Creature. Creature. 